everyone and welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning in, hello and welcome. My name is Renita. In today's video, I thought I would um, jump on this video uh, topic or suggestion that um, was given to me by my cousin. She was suge suggesting that I speak on um, like raising children in today's society. And I thought I would just kind of put a little spin on it and just maybe touch on maybe like the difference that I see in uh, maybe like from when I was growing up as a child as to now me being a parent and raising children with the differences, some of the differences maybe. And what I can say about that is that I think that when we were growing up, well, I, I think that from each generation, um, things change or whatever, even though some of the same stuff was going on when I was a, a child, it was going on when my parents were kids, but things change, you know, as things advance. And so you may have um, a little bit more knowledge or you're able to, to get to know about certain things, you know, quicker or earlier on in life um, than to say I, with me, maybe I found out about some things sooner than my parents did when they were my age possibly. But today I just think with social media is, different even you know from even when I was a child it was just certain things that we didn't have access to and I know that like a lot of us that you know were in school and even with our children being in school they they learn things from being in school being around their classmates um so they pick up some things that way in which we did the same thing as children but today with social media it's just like it's different and what what you know a lot of kids of a certain age having phone so they have access to information that we didn't have access to at such earlier um you know young ages or whatever and that can be a bad thing i know a lot of times we want to we give our children you know children phones just because of like you know they have after school activities and, and things like that and you know they need, may need to be able to get in touch with us and for those reasons but on the flip side you know it's just a lot of information a lot of access to things that may not be so good so i think in in um terms of like social media it's made things very different just because i don't know it's like they're learning so much so quick if they have access to that and also i think that like you know no one parents, you know, just exactly the same. That's no one, but people have different ways of parenting. And I'm not saying the way I would choose a parent, if it's different from you, that makes your way wrong. It may not work for me, but it doesn't make, you know, that make it wrong for, for your, your style of parenting. But I remember being a, a kid, it was just certain things that you didn't do and you didn't say just because we were taught not to, to do those things. We were taught not to speak to it like an adult in a certain way or a certain manner even now with me we you know for if you not, didn't know i have three children we have three kids I'm, our oldest son is an adult and then we have um a 15 year old and a 10 year old and we pretty much try to parent them in terms of like respect the same way we were taught or whatever so it's it's like when you now with things being just so different and it's, it's just different from me and I'm not used to it just because I was raised a different way and it doesn't like I said it doesn't mean that it's wrong if it's if that's not the way you were raised or the way that you were parented but when I started to hear like children uh, responding to an adult and their response is like what and, you know it's, it's sh it was shocking to me like what talking to you know i have to like catch myself even now because it it bothers me to hear children respond to adults in that way but that's just how people talk now and i have to get used to that i guess in some cases i don't have to get used to it with my children because i don't want my children responding to me like that if i ask you a question what because it just sounds disrespectful to me it does and me being a mother of a grown child I don't talk to my mom that way. My, my father's passed away, but I don't respond to her like that. And no one, no adult that's older than me, that's just not how I talk. And I do have to get used to that. I hear adults speak the same way, but just 
you know, when I'm talking and I'm talking to my friends or whatever and I'm being funny, I'll be like, what? You know, just being like that, but just like um, an older person, someone older than me, if they ask me something, I'm not going to respond to them that way. If I didn't understand what they said, I'm not going to be like, what? Because it, it's just not how I was raised. So like adjusting and getting used to the differences of how kids are, are raised now and you know the technology and everything that they have um, that they're able to, to use now and to know more things or things that they already know that you didn't even know that they knew if you're not talking to them a lot of these kids know a lot of stuff that you might not even be aware of so it's good to talk to your kids and to find out what they know um, and it's just like the influence, you know, with social media and everybody want to do challenges and pranks and things like that. Um, you know, it can be dangerous or whatever. We, you know, growing up, we, we did things. We played tricks and we laughed and we, not to say that we grew up and everybody was just so good. Everybody was perfect kids. I'm not saying that at all, but it's, it is, I think it's a difference now. And then even with things in society where everything is so different, where you get to choose this and choose that. We didn't grow up during that time. And so that's different if, you, if you're not, if you're raising your children in a different way and you have to explain these things to them. I mean, you know, you have to explain it because they're coming into contact with it, you know, at school, amongst friends and everything like that. And we, we did not deal with things like that even though you know some some stuff was still going on behind the scenes maybe certain things that we weren't familiar with when it when it as it pertains to um you know sexuality and things like that but today it's like you know it's so in your face and it's almost like you you are made to you know to be put in a situation where you have to address these topics and um it can be a lot. So I think it's challenging in that way. And then even with, um, I was talking to my sister-in-law um, just the other day. And we were talking about a number of different things. But she, she even mentioned like the, the pandemic and the effect that that had on the kids. And I guess I really didn't even think about it in terms of that. Because you hear more kids dealing with depression and you know anxiety and things of that nature. And she mentioned the, the pandemic. And how that played on a lot of children, and which in teenagers, in I can see that being the case. I can understand that, but it's just like I don't. You know, when we were growing up, it just didn't seem like. Not saying that that wasn't the case. You know, I think people have been struggling with with things, issues for many years. You know, or whatever. But not to say that no one dealt with that when we were children, but we didn't hear it um, verbalized as much as we do now. And I think. It still kind of goes back to social media. I think social media has a, a huge part to play in that. You know, so as parents, we do have to be, um, you know, just hands on and um, just to, you know, know what our kids are doing and keeping track of it and not letting them go too far into things that they shouldn't be going into, you know, at early ages or whatever. Um, and I also think that. I don't know. It seems like relationships when it, when the children get to an age or where they can start to consider even dating, those things are are changing now too. It's just so much going on today with you know violence and everything as it relates to you know relationships, even with with younger people. That I don't recall it being like that when I was a child. So. Um, like I said, I can only speak on raising children currently. Like, I don't think that some of the issues that we see now and that we're facing as being parents or aunts or uncles or, you know, just a relative of a child, I don't think it was as bad or, you know, these, these issues were as, as complex when we were being, you know, when we were growing up as they are now. Um, but I don't know. I think, and a lot of times I, I sit back and think about like, it seems to me in my mind, it seems like things were just so much easier then. Um, and I would imagine maybe my, my mother could say the same thing and, and, 
you know, her grand, her mother, when she's passed away, but her mother probably say the same thing. Also, when she was growing up, things were were easier in terms of what's going on. I know there were different issues um, that they had to face or whatever. So I understand that. But in terms of just like being a child, <laughs> I, I don't think they dealt with a lot of the outside influences that our children have to deal with today. And I don't know. I mean, like I said, when we were kids, it was just just simple. I mean, you know, until like growing up, I remember growing up and we had a, a house phone. So before cell phones came out, we had a house phone. And when we left the house, in order for us, in order for someone to get in touch with us, they either had to be at that place that we were going or wait until we came back and, and you called us and we got you then on the phone. Nobody was, was, was um, texting you and leaving messages and then, you know, I know pages and things like that, things like that came out. And, you know, the technology started to advance. But it's like, now I know sometimes if I make a mistake and leave my phone at home, I actually feel good. You know, just knowing that Okay, I don't have that with me, and I can just kind of be away from that for a while or whatever. Um, so, yeah, I think raising children in today's society, in my opinion, is a lot more complex than the times of, like, our parents raising us. Um, things, it's just so many outside influences today uh, and it's just like you have the world at your fingertips and we didn't have that i don't know i guess i also want to say like it takes um you know a number of people like we always hear to say and it takes a village it does take a village you know but we've got to the point now and you know today that we don't even want to really say anything to kids because it's like you don't know sometimes how how the kid may res may respond, or even their parents. If the parent found out that you said something to them, sometimes the parent may not respond so so well. So it's just like, from what I understand, they used to not be the case or whatever. Just you know, because we looked out for each other. And I think if maybe we can get back to being more like that and not allowing um, the world and everybody else to all the outside influences, people who don't even know our children. Stop allowing them to raise our kids or dictate the standards for our kids. I think, you know, things could, could be better than what they are. Um, we haven't really had any major issues being parents, you know, just the typical things with, with kids or whatever, you know, but nothing bad. We haven't had any, any major issues and I, you know, I thank God for that, but um, so it hasn't been so hard it's in terms of like, so I'm not taking away from being parenting. It's, it's not hard. It is a lot because it, you can always be a parent once you become a parent. So yeah, there's a lot in that. But just to be like pulling your hair out, like, well, why is he, why is he not respecting me? Why is he, you know, why is he, whatever kids, children will be children, but you do have to set boundaries and they need, they have to know what you will tolerate and what you will not tolerate and it just is as simple as, as that our oldest son him coming into being a young adult you know with him being 14 15 maybe he tried to you know voice himself to me in a different way than what he would have done with his his dad but today you know he, I, we don't have any problems out of him he is um he's very intelligent and um yeah i enjoy talking to him he's like <laughs> I, I really do enjoy talking to him and 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 it just goes to show you once even if you feel like you're raising your children and they're not listening they're listening because he my old our oldest son has told me he's repeated some of the things and he saw exactly what you know i was trying to get him to see or what we were trying to get him to see when he was not an adult yet and so they're listening, they're paying attention. So don't ever feel like, you know, you're losing, even if it seems like they're not listening. They they they'll listen. They they are listening. And you know, things will happen. We we've all done things. We've done things to get in trouble. And it's just well life. Something's gonna happen. Your, your children will disappoint you at some point. I don't care. It don't have to be anything major. If they don't tell the truth, that can be disappointing. 
it's just a part of life. We all mess up. And so um, I, I'm not looking for perfection when it comes to, uh, you know, raising our kids. I'm not a perfect parent, so I don't expect perfect kids. But I do think, think that there is a difference from, you know, being a parent today um, as it was when we were being raised. I'd like to know what you all think. Do you think it's easier now to raise kids or is it about the same? Is it just, you know, things are the same as it has always been? We just have added some, some things in. Let me know what you think. Is it harder today to raise children? And if it is, what are some steps maybe, I guess, you know, what have you done to make it to where it's, it's not as hard for your family, you know, to make sure that your children are not, uh, you know, so overly influenced by outside influences. So, yeah, I'd like to know what you think about it. I will say, you know, we can't just like throw our hands up and be like, well, this is the day and the time that we live in and it is what it is can't be like that because you know these are our kids and we're responsible for them so we still have to be the parents and um, not let the world be the parents of our children so yeah if there's any you know older people that like to give some wisdom that I may not have I want to you know I'm open to it I like to hear your thoughts on um, the topic raising children to in today's society and even in younger people, if there's any younger parents that you have insights, share, drop it down in the comments. Let me know what you think. And so if you're about to start a family and you have an idea of how you want your family to go, so let, let me know. It's worth a conversation. But yeah, I think that's all I have on this topic. I hope I, you know, kind of did it justice. I was talking about raising children in today's society. Hopefully I did. If there's more that you would want me to kind of talk about regarding this, let me know and we can talk about it or um, or anything else. Any other topics that you want to discuss or, you know, maybe talk about it, you know, some other time. Just let me know down in the comments and I will definitely take what you have to say into consideration and see if we could, can discuss it. But until the next time, thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, if you found anything I said helpful, or if you like, you know, the topic that was being discussed, give the video a thumbs up, please. I'm trying to get my content out there just like everyone else's content is being pushed. I want mine to be pushed out there too. So, <laughs> but I mean, some positive content. Now, don't get, don't get it twisted, as they say. I'm not trying to do what everything, I know we're talking about the influence, but I want to be a positive influence. I don't want to just be doing things to just be, to do, to gain popularity or anything like that. I would like to be a, po a positive influence on people, whether they are younger people, older people, whatever. I would like to do that. So like I said, if you enjoyed the video, if you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up so that we could push it out and reach more people. I would so greatly appreciate it. And also, if you have enjoyed this video, if you would like to see more content from me, please go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel and um, hit the notification bell so that you'll know when I upload a video in the future. But again, until the next video, thank you so much for stopping by. I enjoy sitting down and chatting with you like this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.